American singer-songwriter Jasmine Marie Sullivan was born and raised in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. She began singing at the age of three. In connection with her super Christian upbringing, one standout experience she recalls was performing a solo in front of the entire congregation at her church when she was eight years old. Since her family were so heavily into the church, it's no surprise that most of Jasmine's musical influences growing up were gospel artists, namely Kim Burrell and the Clark Sisters. Soon after, Jasmine took to the Apollo stage at the age of 11, and by 15, she had signed her first record deal. She spent the better part of the next two years recording an album that ended up never getting released. Then, she was dropped from the label. That was a big blow. I was angry. Everybody was going off to school, and I had already decided I wasn't going to college because singing was going to be my career. They didn't know what to do with me. I was young, and I didn't know what to do with my own self. I didn't know who I was, so I couldn't take control of my career and tell them what I wanted to do. After a good cry, though, she got right back to work. While working on her own projects, Jasmine also provided background vocals for other artists. During one of these sessions, she would meet Melissa Missy Elliott. Missy would go on to produce the majority of Jasmine's debut album. Jasmine's breakthrough song, also co-written by Missy, called Need You Bad, was released in May 2008. It became a top 40 hit on the Billboard Hot 100. Her successful momentum would continue with the release of the album's second single, Bust Your Windows. It would become her most successful single ever. One week later, her debut album titled Fearless was released. Jasmine still wasn't done. A third single, Lions, Tigers, and Bears, dropped at the end of 2008. It became her third hit in a row and scored another top 10 position on the R&B Hip Hop Songs chart. Two years later, her sophomore album, Love Me Back, was released in November 2010. The album's lead single, Holding You Down, Going in Circles, released that previous summer, would later be nominated for a Grammy Award for Best Female R&B Vocal Performance. In early December, Billboard honored Jasmine as the rising star for 2010. As well as things seemed to be going though, by January, Jasmine made a shocking declaration via Twitter that confused and concerned many people. I'm making an official announcement that I'm taking a break from music. I'm trying to figure out who I am without a mic, paper, or pen. I promised myself when it wasn't fun anymore, I wouldn't do it. And here I am. I'm not saying I won't ever sing again in my life because I don't believe that. But in this moment, right now, I got some things to figure out. The tweets were deleted quickly after, leaving fans to speculate that she had perhaps changed her mind. However, she would in fact not be heard from for many years. In 2015, Jasmine finally resurfaced from her five-year hiatus with her third album, Reality Show. The project was somewhat based on her addiction to watching the television genre during her hiatus which inspired the title. During her absence from the spotlight, she was also in an abusive and toxic relationship that caused her to lose her love for music. She also felt very alone after leaving her city, family, and friends. As she detailed in her The Making of Jasmine Sullivan's reality show series on her YouTube channel, she sunk so low that she considered doing drugs to cope. Luckily, she decided that wasn't the answer. She ended that chapter of her life and started on the journey to finding herself again. Another issue Jasmine had to deal with was stage fright. Her confidence was shot, and she had developed a phobia of sorts of performing live. She eventually gained the strength to make her way back to the stage on the backs of all her supporters, who missed her and were anxious to see her perform again. Reality Show would earn Jasmine three Grammy Award nominations. Towards the end of 2019, Jasmine's family was hit with a devastating blow. Her mother was diagnosed with breast cancer. The news motivated her family to band together to support her on her journey back to health. They even changed their eating habits, going vegan. Jasmine reported that the diet change was not only a great benefit to her mother, but to herself as well, and helped her lose a significant amount of weight. Jasmine then appeared back on the music scene after three years with the song Lost One. Along with the release of the song, there was confirmation of a brand new EP on the way. Jasmine rang in the new year with that EP titled Hotels in January 2021. It debuted at number four, earning Jasmine her highest peaking album 
on the 200 chart. By the following month, the album had reached number one on the R&B albums chart and helped Jasmine land an opportunity of a lifetime. She brought the house down with her rendition of the Star Spangled Banner at Super Bowl 55, accompanied by country singer Eric Church. Jasmine has accomplished something that many musical artists have tried and failed to do. Take long breaks and still come back with music that is critically acclaimed by fans and critics alike. She's also in a much better place romantically. Jasmine and her boyfriend, musician and producer Dave Watson, have been together and seemingly in a happy and healthy union for the last four years. In June 2021, Jasmine released Tragic as the lead single off her upcoming fourth studio album. She performed the song at that year's BET Awards and also walked away a winner that night, grabbing the award for Album of the Year. So far, recording on her next album is going well, and fans should look forward to hearing it sooner rather than later. At least according to an interview she did in July with Rolling Stone magazine, where she said that she's become more conscious of how she uses her time and doesn't expect to take as long of a break as she has in the past between projects. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you won't miss any future videos. See you next time! Thank you.